here we go. On the subject of Nip was a legend, man. I see, I see the stuff that's going on, on the internet, man. I'm gonna tell you like this: Nip was more than a legend to me. That's why I gave him an award while he was living. You know what I'm saying? Before he passed, because he meant so much to me while he was living. And he's even more in his death to the rest of the world. And the world get to see and hear what he was saying and talking about. I don't I, I don't get into all the internet stuff. I don't taste that. I do my posts on the internet and I get off. You know. Um and I'm so happy when I see people reposting him and his music and how he growing. And this is what everybody's supposed to be aspiring to be, to be to be known and recognized after you pass for your greatness and for for the things that you try to give the world. And this is what us as grown men, older men, aspire to be. What Nip was able to obtain. I'm 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 happy that my my, my kid is a legend. You know what I mean? Like he he ain't even a legend. He passed that for us in the Crenshaw community for our section. Man, this is what we this is what we wanted. This is what we was trying to do. When when we chose Nipsey and he we put him out in front of the Crenshaw community, in front of our section, that's because we wanted him to be great. We champion that. When when we see people with the Crenshaw shirt on, we feel like we made it. And with with all due respect to everybody's opinion, Cug gonna always be. He gonna always be our champ, no matter what. Always. You know what I mean? Nip inspired me to get back into music. When Nip signed to Atlanta, he called me. My uncle, let's go. We finna do it again. And we finna finish it this time. Nip was supposed to do the Big U documentary. He had the documentary team. We was meeting. You know what I mean? We was meeting on that because he wanted to do it. He wanted to present that to the world. You know what I mean? Every event I did, Nip came there. He showed, he supported that. He championed that. And I'm gonna say it again, man, with, with impunity. My nigga was more than a legend. He was more than whatever the world was. We gave him his award right before he died. You know what I mean? Right, right, right when he was living. You know what I mean? And I hope he get these Grammys. I hope that for his family and for his kids. And I mean, you know, his legacy gonna live on, man. Can't nobody take that from him. So y'all stop getting excited when somebody say shit. That shit, can't nobody take nothing from him. Can't nobody take nothing from him, man. He already did that. He made that. And, and if he's a legend of y'all heart like he is in mine, you ain't gonna be bothered over what nobody say. Period. Point blank. I'm not bothered by what no nigga say. Period. You know what I mean? Because my nigga was, he did that. And I'm going to say it again. I gave it to him while he was living. Fuck what somebody else talking about. I gave it to him while he was living. He was living. He pulled up. I gave him a award. First time ever doing a award show. First time doing a, a banquet. I gave him his award. Remember that. So I got that. I did that while my nigga was living. You know what I mean? So he was our legend because I gave him the award. So I got that, man. Don't worry about what nobody else saying, man. Let Wack do what he doing. Let everybody else say who got opinion in that, what music was. You know what I mean? It's always going to be love. It's always going to be people say one thing, say another thing. But keep it 100. You know what I mean? What he was in music is not what he was in life. Period. Two times bigger. Two times bigger in music. I mean, two times bigger in life than he was ever in music. Believe that. Niggas gonna grow to be like Nip. Kids gonna grow to be like Nip. I'm sorry I'm driving, y'all. So, But that's all I'm gonna say on this subject. I'm not gonna talk on it no more. I'm not gonna... I don't do the internet thing. You know what I mean? I talked to Wack earlier two, three times today and a couple of days. You know what I mean? I They can't fuck with us, we gangsta ish. Turn a bitch nigga. Yeah, they can't take, take a look media for example. We don't take a rush, just pull up. Sam for the side nigga go. drop my paper. Gold and red, gold Sam and I'm a chip go. stacker. A hey, San Francisco factor. Polar, I'm like a young Supreme or Felix Mitch. Get with a nigga that's relevant and we get
get dope. Big back, kick a nigga back like Taekwondo. This bitch kill my nigga, bad niggas ain't shit to me. We slide on them, ride on them. Front, back, side to side on them, glide on them. Hollow tips, three on eight. Suck it on them, so we suck it. Grace me, spray myself with sucker prepellent before I blaze the beat. Me and my Oakland niggas keep it lit, literally. They hate polar cause I stack riches. The facts is, I clap at you two big niggas and take a look. Media started underground with But right now in the Bay Area, we in every town with this. You niggas is baking it with the crabs. Y'all dick riding the crabs. Then they shooting your homies in the back after the show. Then y'all get on Instagram and say, oh, stop the violence. But you flamed up and you calling the homies to bake it with the crabs. We don't got our own shit together in our own motherfucking backyard, my nigga. So how the fuck you gonna bick it with crabs? And wonder why niggas is getting shot. It's not black on black. That shit is a mentality, my nigga. It's a stupid, fucked up, ignorant, black hate mentality. Just think about it when this nigga Tookie and Raymond Washington and all of these niggas first start saying they was crabs, my nigga. What was they doing? They was robbing blacks, stealing from blacks, stomping them out for leather jackets, running up in their houses, robbing uh, uh, granny and grandpa motherfucking shops, nigga. It used to be candy houses on these blocks, bruh, where we could just go up in there and get our shit where we didn't have to go to the liquor store. There ain't no more of that shit over here. Think about it. The original beginning of them motherfuckers was a negative image on black communities, on the black areas. Take, 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 take. We want this shit. This ours. Take, take, take. You gonna be from here. That's their mentality.